Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you a little bit late with your oracle card reading. We're working with three decks here as a point from which I can channel a message to you. And I just want to say that these messages are timeless. You don't have to watch it on a weekly basis. You can come to it whenever you're drawn to it and select a deck that you feel drawn to. And the message that it holds is a message that is relevant to you at that moment. I don't uh, really read the cards as they are meant to be read by the creator of the decks. Uh, however, I do channel a message which I feel is relevant to those of you who are visiting this channel and to those of you who have subscribed and who uh, watch the channel on a regular basis. So um, you have the options one, two and three. Please go ahead and make a selection and you may go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp and you may go directly to your reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck of cards, the question is, what is our oracle guidance for this week? And what is it that we need to know for this week? What kind of guidance will help us get through this week? And what do we need to know for the week as it stands? And this card seems to want to come out. So the card that we have here is called the dark. And what I'm hearing with regard to this card is that it is important for you to understand that whatever um, difficult emotions that are coming to the fore, wherever it is that you may feel, um, am I evil in what I'm doing? Am I right in what I'm doing? Am I, wherever it is that you're having second thoughts about the actions that you've taken or the thoughts that you have or the feelings that you have, it's time for you to acknowledge and to accept that that is part of this duality, that that is part of the process of being able to go deeper, to be able to find greater wisdom from there. And it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel not okay at times in order to be able to get through that, to be able to come out of that and to go into a better space, um, to evolve, as to, so to say. The other message that I'm hearing here is... Um, it's not always necessary for you to share what is going on with you, um, your deeper, darker, um, innermost feelings with those around you, because it isn't always the case that one will necessarily understand where you're coming from. And they may misinterpret your what, what you are saying, or they may not understand the uh, gravity of what you are saying. They may underestimate what, in fact, you are saying, and you aren't necessarily going to be um, going to get support from people around you uh, if you share what is going on with you with regard to this particular card. And this energy is probably going to last. It may just last like a week or a week and a half, but for some of you, it could last up to a few months. Okay, depending on what it is that you're working with. The other thing I'm hearing here is that it's important for you to ground yourself once more, to be able to see yourself from where you've come from, to be able to work uh, with regard to your identity and what you feel connected to and what you feel you are, uh, because that is where you'll find your strength and your power. And that is from where you will be able to cleanse yourself and you'll be able to work with what it is that you need to work with right now. So the answer for you in all that you need to know and all that you need to do at this moment is to go deep into you and understand where is it that you come from and what is it that you are. It is your identity that will actually give you all the answers that you need. And from there on, you will be if you have a solid connection to your identity or where it is that you come from, uh, the, from, that is from where you'll be able to get the power to connect to that which is divine and that which is um, greater than yourself. So for those of you who are listening to this message and you don't have a strong sense of your identity or you don't have a strong sense of where you've come from or you don't have a connection to what you've come from, you will need to understand that this may mean a particular culture, it may mean a particular religion, it may mean a particular ethnicity, or it may mean a particular tradition, but that is not all that it means, okay? The sense of who you are and your identity is something that is linked to an intrinsic essence of who you are, and it isn't necessarily defined by that which is superficial or that which is earthly. 
The other thing that I'm hearing right now is that what you're experiencing uh, at the moment is not necessarily seen by the outside world, but it may be something that is, um, is you may present yourself as being fine on the outside world. You may be presenting yourself as being quite competent, quite capable, quite able to go about living a life that's normal. But in fact, what you're undergoing right now is actually quite uh, dis um, there's quite a lot of distress there that I'm sensing. And this is not for everyone, of course. But once again, you have all that it takes to be able to harness the power that you have and how harness the power that's available to you to be able to connect to the divine, to be able to root yourself more deeply um, into what you, into where you feel you belong or where you feel you've come from. So that is the message that I'm hearing for you, uh, for those of you who've chosen uh, this card here, um, this deck here. And um, yeah, once again, the main message here that I'm hearing is that it's important to recognize that sometimes one needs to go into the deep and into the dark in, able to come, in order to come out and to, to find the light or to, in your search for the light. All right. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, what is our guidance for this week? What is it that we need to work on? What is it that we need to know? What is it that we need to focus on as we go along? And there we have What I'm seeing and hearing here is that you're at a midway point in your journey and in your progress, okay? You've done a bit of work already and you it's as if you're afraid to show it to the outside world. You've done a, a bit of work on yourself and it's as if you feel like you're not ready to come out and actually face this and share this with other people. And the the message that is coming forth for you is that you don't really need to go out and share this with anyone as yet. You don't really need to go out and um, ex uh, advertise yourself as yet. Okay, this is not the time to do that. It's still time for you to work on yourself, to be able to heal yourself um it's almost it almost feels to me like you feel that you're vulnerable but you're not okay so you actually are not as vulnerable as you think you are uh nevertheless uh you have in fact come a long way in your work and um you don't need to be afraid but you do need to be cautious at this moment and in this time it is important for you to feel protected it's important for you to feel sheltered and the thing that i'm hearing here which is actually similar to the first card that we've just gone through is that it's not necessary for you to go out and share with the rest of the world right now what it is that you've been working on where is it that you've been hibernating what is it that's been conjuring up inside of you that is ready to actually come out into the world you may feel that it's ready to come out into the world but it's not really yet um, you need to take a bit more time to be able to um, work on yourself, to be able to ready yourself, to be able to uh, move ahead. And if you're watching this in the first or second week of January, uh, you would be ready around March. OK, but um, if you if it's somebody else who's watching this in September or something, I feel like you'd be ready around December or so. So it's like a, almost a, like a one and a half to a three month period in which you will be able to, to be ready and come out into the world with whatever it is that you are ready to, to present. So for some of you, it feels like you're ready to present a project or there's like a thesis that you've been writing and that you're waiting to present it. And, um, or it's, it's as if you've been working really hard on yourself and you're wondering whether it's time to connect with those people who have uh, brought you some of this pain and, and difficulty, but you're not yet ready to do that. It's not you're not yet ready to actually go out in the world and share yourself with with people because you are still vulnerable. And this is not to say that you do not have strength. This is not to say that you are not strong. Um, you actually are very strong, and you've rooted yourself very deeply. And you've what you've begun, the process that you've begun begun has had um, a great influence in those around you as well. And it's important to note that even though you may not see it, you may feel that connection with other people and you may feel like, um, you know, sometimes like you lose energy to others or you feel drained as a result of others. But you need to understand that it's not 
necessarily that you're losing energy in this process, but simply that um, as you give forth and as you are generous with what you have, you are receiving gifts uh, back as well. So it's not as if it's a one-way uh, street. There is a give and take here and it's up to you to be able to take what is given to you and to be able to use it to your benefit. So if you are in fact in a situation where you are receiving from the outside world something that is not so positive or something that makes you doubt yourself here, what you really need to do is actually, uh, well I feel like you're not really doubting yourself as such, but more that you're just not feeling ready to confront the world or you're not feeling ready to face what it is that you need to face. And what I'm hearing, as I was about to say, was that um, you actually are in a process of delivering yourself. You actually are in a process of working through what it is that you need to work through in order to come out the other end. And whatever it is that you're busy with, Whatever it is that you, wherever it is that you are, you are still midway in your journey. And that comes across very strongly to me. You're midway in your journey and you have a way to go still. Have confidence, have faith in yourself, go forth and don't let anything stop you. And don't, um, don't take on what is not yours and recognize that that which is given to you, even though it may appear in a form that is poisonous or toxic, is in fact something that you can mold and um, create into something that is useful for you. So if somebody is being harsh towards you or somebody is being unkind towards you, or if it's an institution or you know, you're just feeling uh, put off by whatever it is that's coming your way, it's important for you to understand that in some ways, this is a gift. It's, it may be packaged poorly, but it is a gift. And there's something there that you can learn from. And it's something there that you can grow from. It doesn't just need to annoy you or make you feel vulnerable or make you feel weak or make you feel disempowered. There's something there that you can take for yourself and empower yourself with. It is your responsibility uh, to, do what it, it, to do what you want with it and to make it an, a positive experience for you or a negative experience for you, even if what it is coming your way is, is um, an assault or an insult. It's something that you can take and make and take it and mold it to your advantage. Okay, so um, that's a very specific message here for um, for you, those of you who have chosen this one here. And um, yeah, thank you very much for coming by. And I'm going to move on to the last deck here. So for those of you who've chosen this particular deck, we're asking the question, what is it that we need to know for this particular week? What is it that we need to know for this week? Ah, oh, I think this is the one. Yes, it is. The card we have here is Integrity. And it's the Stone Amazonite. And it's the goddess um, Rhiannon. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that word, to be honest. I need to find out. So, and it's Crystal Goddesses 888. Yeah. So, what I'm hearing here is that for those of you who've chosen this one here, you have before you a whole new beginning in which you can go forth and actually create so much and create all of it that you need you are sitting with a jewel you are sitting in a, in a in a cave which is filled with jewels and you can walk out into the world and you can choose whatever it is that you want to take with you and walk in whichever path that you want to walk it's really up to you right now to be able to make the choices that you need to make for yourself and for what is good for you and i'm feeling that um that you feel that as well on some level. You feel how lucky you are. You feel how um, blessed you are. You know, it's not even a blessing. It's something you conjured up within yourself. It's not a blessing that's come out of you. It's some, I mean, from, from outside of you, I mean. It's something that's come from within you. And it's something where you, it's like you have the opportunity to sparkle and you have the opportunity to be able to create. And with that creations or would, whatever you do right now, it's like, it, whatever you, you touch right now turns to gold and this is a time in which you can make a lot of money if that's your um, 
intention or if that's your goal. This is the time in which whatever you you embark upon will be successful and has a good potential um, to earn. It's also something that will take you to new heights. It'll bring you status. It'll bring you well-being uh, on many levels, on many material levels. So this is a card. Uh, the card is titled Integrity. And I feel that uh, the integrity that is spoken about here for you is something that has given rise to this energy that you have right now. It's because you've worked with integrity. It's because you've focused uh, on a certain path with integrity. Um, and you've moved ahead with that, that you are able to go, that you're able to access the abundance and the jewels and the prosperity that you have right now. Uh, it is from integrity of which the luck that you have right now is born. And so the other thing I want to say here is that even if you've been walking a path in which you feel that you've not been um, behaving in from a, a point of integrity, like maybe you have been dishonest uh, with others about what it is that you truly want or what it is that you truly want to do and you've just kept that to yourself. Well, the fact that you've uh, been loyal to your own goals or what it is that is true to you is where your integrity shines through. And so, you know, if you doubt yourself, or if you doubt that you, you have integrity, note that this is not... Um, something that you need to question because you have been true to that one particular thing that you are really focused on and that you really want so very badly and the time has come for you to reap that the time has come for you to be able to take that and in your hands and go with it you know um it's not to say that you should take the bull by the horns you know because this is not something that is uh tumultuous or will bring difficulty, or it's not something that you need to struggle with. I see you, you're walking with a certain degree of grace and understanding and knowing that you can actually go forth and create whatever it is that you desire right now, and that you've just been waiting for a sign. You've just been waiting to understand that this is what you've been given birth to, and this is your sign, okay? So that is it for those of you who've chosen um, this particular deck here. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who have come by and um, for those of you who are regular in this channel and you know that I've just not been around for the last couple of weeks, um, but I just want to say that I will be more regular in the future and um, I've missed you all and it's great to be back and it's great to be able to do this and to be able to share with you. And um, so, yes, thank you for coming by. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking the video and thank you for all the support and all your lovely comments and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.